Hello everyone. This is a new series of videos about long division, but using a different method. So you're going to see some of the exa same examples that you saw in the other videos, but we're going to try it with a little bit different of a process. So the way we're doing this one is we're setting it up more or less in the same way, and we're going to follow four steps. And the mnemonic device that I use to help remember this is dangerous monkeys swing backwards. Now, of course, uh, I've heard it in different ways to a dad, mom, sister, brother, uh, but again, whatever way that helps you remember, these are the steps to follow. And we know, of course, that they symbolize a math step to follow to help us do our long division. So what's gonna happen here is that each letter is going to stand for one of the steps. So our D is division. So we're gonna start with division. Our M is multiplication. Our S is subtraction, and our B is bring down. All right, so we're going to start here. Our example that we have here is 600, sorry, 564 divided by 6. It really does help if I read it properly to start it off. So our first step is division. We're going to see how many times does 6 go into 5. We're going to start with the first number. So how many times does six go into five? Well, I know that it can't go in any times. And when that happens, I always have to look at the next number. How many times does six go into 56? Or six times something is gonna give me a number that's close to 56 without going over. So again, when we're doing long division, it's really, really important that you know your multiplication tables. If you don't know them yet, that's okay. Uh, it might take you just a little bit longer because we know that long division requires a lot of steps. That's right, take your time, and we'll figure out six times something is 56. So we know that six times nine is 54. So we're gonna use that as the number that we're gonna multiply by. So I'm gonna put my nine up here. So that six times nine is 54. So I've just finished doing my division step, and now I'm gonna move on to my multiplication. So in my division step, again, I figure out six goes into 56 nine times. So that part is done. Next in my multiplication, six times nine is 54. So I put it down here. And that's what I'm multiplying, like that. Next part of the step is subtraction. So I'm going to do 56 minus 54, and that's going to give me two. So my subtraction right there. The next part of it is bring down. So I'm going to have to bring down the number that's left, and now it's a four. So as long as I remember these four main steps, I just keep repeating the four steps over and over again until I'm finished the long division. So here we go again. I'm gonna go with division. Now my new number that I'm working with is 24. So how many times does six go into 24? Well, I know that it fits in exactly because six times four is 24. So I'm gonna put four up here. So I just finished my division step, six, goes into 24 four times. So my division is done. Next, my multiplication. So four times six, four times six is 24. Next, subtraction. 24 minus 24 is zero. And then I check to make sure I don't have any more numbers that I need to bring down, and I don't. So for this particular example, I have zero remainder, nothing left over, and my answer is there at the top. So 564 divided by 6 is 94. And that's the first part of this method. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos using the same method but with larger numbers and dividing by two digits.